What is up everyone? Welcome back to the vlog. So if you watched my last video, which was the video of Lauren driving my WRX, which she did an amazing job by the way. If you went to the description, you would have gotten the hint that this video was going to be another mod video for the WRX. So I've been waiting to get these for about a week and a half now. have had no patience with them, but I finally got them today. So I'm going to show you what they are and we are going to install them. So let's do it. So these are the V1 canards from downforcesolutions.com. They're for the 15 to 17 Subaru WRX or STI. I'm, I don't know, they might fit the 18s, but I'm not sure yet. You'd have to ask them. But I got a great deal on these and they are pretty much the perfect size that I was looking for. And I feel like they're gonna look amazing on the car. So if you would like to purchase these after I install them and you get to see what they look like, I will have the link to their website down below. They also have some like Civic Type R products too. They also have some older WRX parts. They also have rear diffuser for this car and just a bunch of downforce and aero stuff. So if you like this video, then you can check them out if you would like. So this is pretty much gonna be a straightforward install. So this is the right one. It's pretty much gonna look something along the lines of this. And I think that's gonna look amazing. Uh, they do have some pictures on their website if you are kind of confused on the placement. But the first thing I'm gonna do is put some painter's tape right here. And then I'm gonna put the canard up to the front bumper. And then I'm gonna mark with a Sharpie through these little holes right here where I will need to drill because you're gonna have to drill for these to be really stable on the car, but it'll only be three holes on each side. I might have to end up taking the whole bumper off, but we'll see. Hopefully I can get away with not doing that. I'm gonna grab the drill and then I'm gonna put the painter's tape down and let's get these canards on. I cannot wait. So for these holes right here, I found out that you are going to need a 3 16th drill bit that pretty much fits perfectly. So that is the size that you're going to need. I have the drill, found out the drill bit, so now I can tape off and start drilling. So now that I have the area taped off, uh, pretty much what I did to save tape is I just kept lining it up and then I kind of like eyeballed to where I think I would need to drill and then I put tape there. So now I'm able to line up the canard perfectly and then I'm going to use this sharpie to mark where I'm going to need to drill. I might just tape this really well secured on there and then leave it on there while I drill. I think I'm going to do a 1 8 drill bit as a little pilot hole. Then I can remove this and then make the bigger holes that I'm going to need. So I think I'm going to do that just to make sure that I get the holes in the correct places. Because once you drill, then it's kind of too late for mistakes. So I think I'm going to do that. thing I've ever drilled it's literally like butter so I'm not too worried that's going to go in each hole is going to be an allen screw and then on the other side you're going to have your washer and your your nut so for the allen screw you're going to need i don't know if it's a three centimeter or what but it says number three that's the size that you're going to need for this
All right, little update. The first canard is on and all the way tight. There is literally like no gap. So the only gap you might have is right here, but it's honestly not even noticeable. It isn't even like half a centimeter, but other than that, the fitment is pretty great. Um, I decided to jack the car up because I had to take the front bumper off, sadly. There was no way around it because to bolt in this bottom bolt under here, you definitely have to take off the front bumper, so just be prepared to do that. So I'm about to, I have the other side all taped up. I'm about to drill and then put the second canard on and then I'm gonna drop it down and then I'm gonna show you guys. bottom screw I found out that it's easier to go from underneath the bumper because it's literally a couple inches away rather than trying to cram your arm all the way down here so yeah that's what I I would suggest doing that if you end up getting these canards Both of the canards on now so now I'm just going to put all the clips back in the bumper and then put the bumper on and I can drop the car and show you guys hopefully I can finish up it sucks about winter when it gets dark at like 530 so I'm trying to hurry this along for you guys and if not I can always get some pictures and end the video tomorrow but hopefully I can hurry this up and put the bumper back on looks so good in person it makes the front end look so aggressive so once again if you want to check these out downforce solutions the website will be in the description tell me what you think in the comments I think they look pretty crazy so this is probably gonna be the last mod for a while until winter seasons over the next mod that I'm saving up for is gonna be huge and it's gonna change the whole color of the car. Yes, I'm thinking about wrapping the car next, so that's gonna be a while until I can save up enough for that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a thumbs up, and I will see you guys next time.